see, not only do we like to know who we take into our family, we want to know that we're getting the best and for the long haul. By that we mean we don't want you to be into any kind of drugs or anything else that would be uh, inconductive in dealing with our clients. So it doesn't matter that I'm not from a large family. I know some of these kinds of organizations like people with huge groups of family and friends and well, it's just us. Oh no, that is not the case here. I see that you think just because you're here alone, that that somehow defines your worth. See, all we need from you is... We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special message. Two men have escaped prison and are believed to be close in East Texas. Mickey Stubbs and Anthony Juarez. Police are saying to immediately contact authorities. Do not approach. These men are armed and dangerous. Can I help you? Hi. Sorry to bother you. I'm Lucky, and this is my friend Nicholas. Hello. I know you're not used to having random people show up here, but our car's having issues down the road. We were wondering if we could borrow your cell phone for a call. <laughs> we don't use cell phones here. You don't have a cell phone. Uh, could you believe we both left our phones at the motel? <laughs> I believe anything's possible. You boys look like you could really use a glass of tea. That'll be nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My name's Anna. Nice to meet you, Anna. Wow, this is a beautiful house you got here. <laughs> Thank you. It's been in my family for decades. You live here alone? No. Come this way. Follow me. Sorry. Hi. Could you pour both these gentlemen a glass of tea? Yes, ma'am. So, what brings you both out here? We were oh, just we're just passing. Visiting. <laughs> we were just passing by. All the way out here in East Texas. Work trip. Hmm. I see. around four, you can use his cell phone then. Oh, that would be great. Good. Then you will both just have to spend the night because he comes every other day. Anna, I found something. 
Oh, it looks like we have guests. Does this belong to one of you? Oh, yes, that's mine. Thanks. I'm Courtney. This is Valerie. Nice to meet you both. Likewise. And to what do we owe the fine pleasure of you gentlemen being here? Car issues, so just looking for a phone. Oh, well, you're in just the right place. We have two. Courtney! No, we don't. Dude, are you alright? Yeah, I'm uh, sorry, I just lost my balance. Well, y'all did say he walked a long way. Maybe he just needs some rest, right? Yeah, and that wouldn't hurt. Valerie, will you show these gentlemen to their rooms? Yes, ma'am. Follow me. I'll have some of the girls bring you up some towels. I appreciate it. Thanks. I know, actually, this room's for him. We have another room for you down the hall. Follow me? Oh, okay. You good? Yeah. <sighs> Do any men live here? No! Alright, here we are. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Prosperity begins by climbing the golden ladder. In fact, I want everyone to say this, all together. Prosperity begins by climbing the golden ladder. Now one more time with that golden harvest feeling. Prosperity begins by climbing the golden ladder. You see how that makes you feel? And with the golden harvest method, you're gonna be able to do whatever you want. And I know what you're thinking, is this some kind of Ponzi scheme or pyramid scam? sweating so much. I think because we've been working in the heat all day. Where'd you get that? One of the girls downstairs brought it for me. Well, listen, I know damn well there's some old money stashed away in this house. No, um, man. I said we just find another house because this house is too creepy. They're probably just a bunch of stuck up inherited bitches. We're not leaving until we find something. Stashed away cash, jewelry, Dude, what the fuck? I think I need a nap. A nap? We are working. Yeah, my body's telling me to relax. Fine. 20 minutes. I'll see what I can find out on my own. 
If they get in the way, you know what to do. Boys. doing in here? Missing something? Could I have that? Do you need a pat down? I can't! I can't! Why are you fucking making me do it? Go! Go! Can I help you? I, I was looking for you. Here I am. I thought you said you don't have a phone. We don't. Then what is she talking on? She likes to talk to herself. What? Lulu! Lulu! Yes? What did we say about talking to ourselves? Um, it scares the guests. Precisely. Now apologize. Oh, no, you, you don't have to do Apologize! That. I'm sorry, mister. I think we're gonna get out of your way. Nonsense. You are staying the night. Manny is expecting six fucking kidneys tomorrow. There's two 
Peabody's upstairs. Where's the other one? I'll never tell, you psycho. Oh, you're gonna tell, or the fucking doll gets it. Not my dolly. Leave her alone, Courtney. Stop yelling at her. Oh, I'm not yelling at her. Am I yelling at her, Valerie? You guys, she hid the body in the living room closet. You stupid bitch. Dead gorgeous. Hmm. Not so lucky, huh, Mickey? Girls get to cutting. We've got bills to pay. Thank you. 